Hi, I'm Nicholas Schneider here with another update on LNG shipping. Since our last update in October, the two most notable changes in the LNG shipping market are the further weakening in short-term charter rates for LNG vessels and the impact that lower oil and LNG prices are having on future export projects. I'll talk about both of these aspects in today's video. Short-term charter rates for modern diesel electric vessels are currently around $40,000 to $45,000 per day. And this is about $15,000 per day less than during our last update in October. Several factors have contributed to weaker LNG vessel rates. The first is that mild weather across Asia has resulted in lower power demand and therefore higher LNG inventories. And this has reduced the need for customers to bring in new cargoes. The second impact is that new LNG supply in the Asia Pacific region from projects in Papua New Guinea and Australia has reduced the amount of cargoes that need to be brought long haul from the Atlantic Basin into Asia. And this loss of long haul trade has weakened demand for LNG tankers. The final impact is that about 20 new LNG vessels have delivered since the, first, since the fourth quarter of 2014. And therefore, in summary, increased LNG fleet supply against weaker demand growth has led to lower vessel utilization and rates. However, we expect rates to begin improving in the second half of 2015 as new export projects come online and begin exporting new cargoes. The second big change over the last few months is the drop in LNG prices. Most LNG globally is sold under long-term contracts where the price of LNG is linked to the price of oil. And the decrease in Brent oil prices from above $100 per barrel to below $60 per barrel today, today is bringing down the price of LNG sold under these long-term contracts. In addition, a smaller portion of LNG is traded on a spot basis, where each cargo is sold individually rather than under a long-term ongoing contract. And the spot price of LNG is also coming down from a high of around $19 per million BTU at the start of 2014 to around $7 per million BTU today in Asia. And the reason for the decrease in spot prices is largely the same factors discussed previously, and that is an, in an increase in new LNG supply in the Asia Pacific region uh, against weaker demand growth. While LNG buyers will enjoy these new lower LNG prices, it also reduces the revenue potential for LNG sellers. And this creates concern that some future projects will not be developed as planned. In fact, we expect that some high cost LNG export projects that we're either anticipating or needing a high oil price upon startup will now be delayed or canceled. And as a result, we have reduced our supply forecast of LNG growth through the end of this decade. However, the decrease in our supply forecast is relatively small. And this is because we had already adopted a fairly conservative view as to which export projects would proceed. In fact, about 80% of the volumes in our forecast are already from projects that have taken a final investment decision and are at various stages of construction. In summary, short-term charter rates for LNG vessels are likely to remain weak through much of this year. But we forecast this to be the bottom of the market, uh, with vessel rates and utilization improving over the next several years as new export projects come online and begin adding new cargoes to the market. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll be back next quarter with another update.